Bird teaches about caregiver and dementia education because it's a need in the community. Um, it's a need worldwide, but in our community we can only take care of so many people upstairs um, and in our day program, but there are so many families, I mean thousands of families here just in Tarrant County living with this disease. And we have the expertise to train them, um, to help them live healthier lives, better manage the disease, and really live well with the disease as opposed to just dealing with it and managing it. And it's part of our mission, it's part of our philosophy, um, just our core values to, to take our expertise and our knowledge and give it to the families that are living with this so they can stay at home longer and be happy and healthy together. So we're able to offer the free education um, for because we have a great many sponsors and stakeholders that really help support the financial side of this so we can provide um, these trainings to the families for free. It's important that we eliminate any barriers for the families to come to the training, whether it's financial reasons. Um, we're also able to travel throughout the Metroplex and offer them at different places, so transportation's not a barrier. There are different times, different days, so making sure that's not a barrier to get this education that's absolutely needed um, for the family at large to survive this disease. We offer a variety of classes. A lot of classes geared towards the caregiver, um, one-time classes, six-week, nine-week trainings to really delve down into specifics of caregiving and, and the, the challenges that come with it and how to really manage those in a healthy way. Um, we offer programs for just the community at large too. How do you age healthy, just healthy brain aging and those scientifically researched ways to actually reduce your risk and age independently. One of the great things about my job is I do get to see people somewhat transform um, going through a training that you, you see some of them come in and they're at their wits end. I mean, they are burnt out, don't know what to do. And you see them transform through a variety of the classes they go through or the six week training and they're leaving, you know, after the end of the six weeks with the resources um, to take home so they have the confidence to go forward and say, I can provide good care for my loved one. I am doing a good job. I do have more skills now. Um, even though the disease is unpredictable, I'm better equipped to go through that. You can see their stress level, just their demeanor overall has changed. Um, and then you see families come in and they're pre-preparing. They know the disease is gonna get um, harder and they want to be able to have stuff put in place for that um, you know kudos to those families and you can see maybe maybe they're a little overwhelmed in the class um, but they're thrilled or at least appreciative to have the resources that they know that they're going to need moving forward um, as a disease and not just going through a class one time but knowing that the West Center is here to support them throughout their journey with the other classes that we offer but with the other services we offer as well. And our education programs are there to help families um, but we're not it's not a superficial kind of just general knowledge about the disease. What makes our education um, so effective for family members is that we are talking about what's really happening to your loved one um, and we're not scared to talk about it um, in, a, in a compassionate way and say this is what's happening with your loved one these are the best techniques that we can do this is you know it's trial and error we don't this is how we can problem solve let me help you work through this um, and, and they're here they leave with practical skills that either we practiced in class um, or we invite them to really work on it on the week and report back to us in the next week so it's really life changing skills and, and education they go through as opposed to maybe just sitting through a lecture one time and hearing some feel good stuff and, and going on and that's I know while I'm so passionate about it because I actually get to see these families leave with actual real life practical things to really change their lives um, and on a day-to-day -day basis and change their loved ones lives too um, again so they can really live well with this disease as opposed to just managing it or just dealing with it um, and just be happier and healthier. So our programs are focused towards the families, um, the primary caregivers of the person living with dementia to help them understand the changes their loved one is going through and provide the strategies or the problem solving or the techniques and, and changing their perspective on maybe what their loved one is going through and how they are interacting with their world so the family can provide the best care for them. We at the West Center, our caregivers, you know, our professional caregivers and through our education, 
classes, we focus on what does the person living with dementia, what do they still have left? And how can I use the abilities they still have to maintain their independence, provide their, um, or prolong their dignity, and keep them engaged throughout their life even if they're in the late stages. How can you keep them engaged um, at mealtime? How can you still have them being involved in their own self-care activities even when somebody needs to physically assist them? Because there is still always something that remains. Um, so it's training those caregivers to figure out and find what is still remaining and understanding that there's, there's something still there, so how do I find it and how do I work with that to give those living with dementia a quality of life and being able to still be a part of their life. So the dementia and caregiver education classes, I mean, we're here to support the families throughout their journey of their disease. Um, so from the very, even before you got a diagnosis to diagnosis to early stages, late stages, and maybe even after um, your loved one has passed away, we're here to support your family. We would love to see you in a class. Um, we'd love to see you access our online videos and podcasts. Go to our website, contact us, and I hope to see you soon.